What is up guys? So in this one I want to show you this super cool little role playing base that I'm really proud of, but I also want to show you some mods and basically show off this super cool 7 days server that I've been hosting for about a month. It's a private server and it's running on AWS as an EC2 instance. It's a T3A small if you're interested. These EC2 instances only come with 2 gigabytes of RAM as you can see here we're at 98% filled but we're 50% in swap and we have almost four gigabytes of swap. So half of the system's memory is running in swap. And as you can see, it seems to be running just fine. It's just kind of like a, a, fun, a fun fact about the server as I show you around. So you can also see that we've got some mods here, Better Vanilla on the top right, Better Vanilla A20.6.1, uh, easy version. The, it's one of those mods where it makes a bunch of changes, including changes to like your uh, your inventory. It makes it bigger and everything. But you can see on like the bottom left down here, that's different. And there's some other stuff going on. Daytime is up here, but it also makes the whole game like way way harder. And the easy version is actually basically just like vanilla difficulty. So. Uh, we get the benefits of using the mod both on the server side and client side without having to fight super super strong zombies right out of the gate So that's cool But yeah, let me show you this base and uh, I'll show you this other mod that we got It's a zombie mod it adds a whole bunch of zombies and both in like appearance, but also like their their strength and everything and um, Yeah, I'll show you that after I show you the house because I'm really really proud of this. This is awesome. So this is the boathouse on the lake. I don't know what this lake's name is. I think that all of the lakes in the game actually have the same name, but uh, like Spillway, I think, is it Spillway Lake or something? But basically this was the boathouse. If you're familiar with it, I've made some like serious modifications to it. Out front, there's some planter boxes. We've got coffee, yucca plant, blueberries, and this lonely hops this lonely hop plant that has been growing forever. I think it might be broken, but the back of the house expands like it extends all the way to like the edge. You can still like walk around it though, but we've got this little walkway with some railing on the back spot to put your bike. Look in there. I couldn't figure out how to get windows to work. So the way that I, I placed all these blocks, there's like invisible barriers inside of here. So you can't actually place anything in the window, like maybe with a debug sort of thing, but I didn't use creative mode for any of this. So uh, we'll just say that we like the lake breeze blowing through the house. So it's like, it's not a square either. It's like asymmetrical. I tried to make it like a 70s style, um, like houseboat sort of house. So it's it's got some charm to it. It's got two entrances, one, one coming in the back and the front, but let me show you the downstairs first. And now I'm hungry. So uh, I built out this little area down here in case we had more people and there was like more places to build and stuff like that. And I was like in the process of, of changing it from planks to solid frame shapes, but it's a lot of work and I just kind of left it because we didn't end up using it. There's a little walkway that goes down in case you fall in the water. And uh, we seem to have glitched part of the world out. So just kind of like avoid Avoid going in the water especially because if you if you go in an area without water, you'll just drop to the bottom and break your legs. And, and yes, that absolutely does happen and it's happened several times. So we just try to stay out of the water. So we'll go in the house through the back door and you can see there's been a lot of, well, like I said, it's not really even the same boat house. I basically like broke it down to the studs. It was just the, the foundation that was left and I, I rebuilt it. This roof I'm really super proud of because I had to build scaffolding from the ground all the way up. Otherwise, like it would fall because of how the game models physics. It's very strange. It's kind of like rust, but it doesn't tell you when it's going to break. So you go to build something and it all just crumbles. It's really, really awful. But I managed to build this and I'm really happy about it. This little strut here, or it's not a strut. I guess it's more like a beam right there that goes down and across. That's crucial to the roof. If that beam isn't there, it'll all come falling down. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to make this. But yeah, so this is a front door. There's our plants. And when you come in, you've got this nice little nook. It's like a kitchen. We got a beer cooler, an oven with a, a fireplace on top and a sink. 
As you can see, these are just storage boxes. I've painted them to look like, you know, this like beer cooler and it's, it's metal on the side and it's got like vents on the back. Over here is just like a cardboard box catch-all with a plant on top. It's, it's very homey. I don't think that it would stand up to a hoard, but that's okay because we actually have hoards turned off. This is kind of like a custom game mode, so there's no seventh day hordes or anything. It's just there's more zombies and they're harder. So you have to go out and, you know, get supplies and stuff, but the zombies are way harder. So, um, yeah, that's, I thought that that'd be more fun because that way, you know, however many people you have, you can take your time and just like kind of build out. Like this bridge, for example, took so long to build and there's no way that I could have done it with like hordes attacking and stuff, but. Let me show you the upstairs because we've got like this little mod thing up there and it's kind of cool. So there's this hallway of doors and this was kind of a challenge to make. Um, there's a missing panel here and that's because the game just won't let me put one there. We've got this little patio, goes out back. Uh, I don't think that this is salt water, but with the uh, peeling paint you would sure think that it was, but I think that kind of, it uh, fits the style pretty well. So, um... I don't know. See, what I would do is I'd just take this texture and then go BAM and say that that's just part of the fence. Or not part of the fence, but part of the roof. Part of the roof. So going back into the house, this is like the little loft area. We've got a fax machine. This is part of the mod. It gives you, I think, uh, 20 quests at random or something like that. So there's like one sitting here. I don't want to activate it, but uh, it's just kind of a cool thing if you want to do if you want to do quests and stuff, but you don't want to go all the way to the villager, because the villager is like way out there. I, that is a villager, or not a villager, the uh, trader, yeah. So the, there's one trader that's like three kilometers away, and that's pretty far. So you could just get quests from here. So going outside again is like, uh, this sort of be uh, battlements, maybe? It's a balcony, but if any zombies ever made their way out here, you'd be able to take them down pretty easily. There's like nothing spawning but that's okay because the zombies can swim. They just sink to the bottom and walk on the bottom of the water and then uh, punch at the foundation and they could bring this whole thing down, but thankfully they don't spawn over here. So up top is like another little living area. I would have liked to do more with up here, but again, the game has strange constraints and because of how I placed these flat blocks here, they're like not even half blocks. They're just these little slices. It takes up a whole square above, so I can't put anything here. So I was only able to put these two chairs in fireplace. But yeah, this is a good spot to just kind of take shots. This isn't much of like a rifle scope, but I'm running this on Debian stable with back ports and I could probably crank the graphics up, but I'm getting about 80 frame, 90 frames a second while recording, maybe a bit more. So actually I, I could turn the graphics up, but uh, frame rate's good, game just kind of looks bad, whether you want it to. I mean, even if you like cranked up the graphics, it still wouldn't look great. All right, place is locked up. Let's hit the road. So I'm gonna drive on this bridge and it's just fine, like nothing bad will happen. But keep in mind that this is a EC2 instance and half of the system's memory is running in ZRAM swap. Now I point that out because like as I'm driving and stuff, the system is constantly having to figure out where the player is on the server. And that takes a lot of processing power. So given that half of the system's memory is in ZRAM and it's just being like compressed and swapped in and out all the time, that's pretty darn impressive. You know, I drove around in the temperate area looking for some cool stuff and I just wasn't finding anything. So I've decided to take us into the wasteland or the irradiated area. I'm not sure which one this is, but you can see that we're, we're like bombing down this little road here and stuff's popping in and the server is still running strong. And we finally made it to Gravestown. We'll definitely see some zombie variety here. Oh, wow. Okay, well. That happened. Let's see who's waiting for us. We have Digger Dick. He's right here. He's a construction zombie. Ow. There is something there. I don't know what the hell that is. Some kind of boomer style zombie. We have some kind of wolf up there. Or no, that's probably just like a regular dog. 
So that looks like your ordinary tweaker. Let's take a look inside one of these buildings. How about... You want to go in the... Gosh, whoa, there's something above me. We got birds flying around. Let's, let's go inside this tower here. See what's doing. So I've made my way to the top floor of the tower because I tend to ramble in these videos. We've been going on for like 10 or 11 minutes, so... I think I'm going to wind it down here. The zombie mod, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this, is called EN Zombies. You can find it on the 7 Day Zombie mod. I'll list most of the mods that I have here in the description, the ones that I've like got set up on the server and things. But the zombie mod is called EN Zombies, and it's actually a really big mod. It has mods for it, like you can expand... You can use it as a base to expand your zombie mods and stuff. It's kind of crazy, but we're just using like the base one. So there's lots of other zombies to add and we only have like the ones that it comes with. Uh, another thing that we changed for this game mode is, uh oh, this is bad news. Um, the zombies don't sprint at night. They either jog or they run. So these are regular zombies, so they're just jogging. They're a little bit faster than regular zombies. These ones are also the special ones, as you can see. Ooh, those are bad news. Actually, this whole situation is bad news. So things are gonna take a really, really bad turn here. But I did wanna mention that the server that everything is running on, oh dear is Debian, Debian stable <laughs> running in AWS. It's like a pretty custom, oh dear. It's like a pretty custom build. I've done a lot of stuff to make it like very well suited for hosting game servers and stuff. So that is that. Uh, the instance is kind of like purpose build built for game servers and things. So like it's a easy to instance, but it might as well just be a container. The server itself is running in a container, and um, it's a, it's a, man, these guys just like, aren't phased by my sawed off shotgun. Uh, it's a private server, and it's not private from like, for like EGIO private, like sometimes we have internal servers that we let people in the community play on, but this is just kind of a test server. I didn't have a lot of time to set up like a community server this time around and I, I wanted to just like kind of test how the server, oh my gosh, how the server will run on this hardware because this is the first time I'm trying to host it on AWS and I switched from Linode to AWS because it's quite a bit cheaper and I have more control over what's going on. These guys just don't give up. I'm not even sure where I'm going. But yeah, what else is there to say? Oh my god. Oh, I think this is it for me, folks. Uh, I'm going to wrap the video up here when they kill me. Oh, and that's that. All right, folks. <laughs> I usually play this game for Halloween, so I'm wrapping it up. I'm going to turn the server off, actually, after this. So I guess if you want more 7 Days content, you will have to wait for another year. Until then, see you later, folks.